hello everyone i hope all of you are doing well uh, uh, today we'll follow the tutorial 3 selecting a template and aligning the query with the template uh, before we continue this tutorial i should uh, summarize the previous tutorial in the previous tutorial we uh, kept our files uh, within modeler that uh, which was installed in c directory we kept our files within bin of modeler uh, with the name folder name model these are all the files that we kept in it in this we will copy this path to our salamander browser because this is easier to use for me so these are the files uh, this was the input sequence that we uh, that we downloaded from NCBI and prepared according to the format uh, given here and then we uh, took this script 1 uh, from this script python script to prepare our input files uh, the python script also needed uh, pdb95 uh, which we downloaded from the modeler tutorial from here uh, because it was needed in the script so we downloaded it so uh, we what we did we did uh, prepared our query sequence file and then we uh, with the help of script one we uh, we got the file uh, sorry this one script one dot py we got the file script one dot log as the result of the running this script script one we used modeler uh, from command prompt I will show you how we launch it so you should run it as a administrator because uh, the file is will be written in C drive and you need to have administrative privileges to write any file uh, in C drive so uh, uh, we did went uh, we did go to cd bin and then model cd and we look we have these files so uh, so now we'll move to the uh, to the template sequences which we had downloaded from pdb will copy this into our same location within model within uh, that is within the path of modeler mm -hmm. so uh, for uh, simplicity and for easy reference we should rename all of them as T sec one is means the uh, template sequence one. Uh, it's giving me some error. It was giving me error because, as I told you before, that I need to whatever I need to do in uh, C drive, I need to have administrative privileges. We'll rename is T sec one. So this will be changed this would be t sec 2 template sequence 2 and this would be uh, t sec 3 template sequence 3 and this would be t sec 4 so we downloaded four template files uh, that would be used for modeling uh, uh, we have uh, renamed all the template fi files from uh, tsec1 to tsec4 uh, now we'll go to modeler and we will uh, download its uh, we'll, we'll copy the python script for comparing template files so we'll copy this 
and uh, we will uh, what should we do uh, we should create it is new folder we should do from here wordpad save so file save as we will save this file in the same uh, folder in the same path uh, in which all the rest of the files are there we will change the path and now we say script 2 script 2 because it is second script i am giving its name to uh, for your easy reference script 2.py because this is a python script uh, why it is giving me error similar problem we will save it in desktop and then we'll copy it script to paste continue yes now script 2 has been pasted here now when we open script 2 uh, we can see that they these are the template that were uh, these are the name of the template that were used in this tutorial but we are we have downloaded separate templates so we should rename as as our files as our uh, as as these files uh, tsec1234 so in order to uh, uh, keep in mind that we have replaced these name we should write separately so that for easy reference uh, so that we can refer back that we changed uh, this name with uh, with the tsec1 and this name with tsec2 so we should we should write in separately that we replaced with this was replaced with tsec1 it is uh, it is not mandatory but i am doing it so that when i will refer it to uh, refer it uh, our one or two months after this tutorial we should remember what did i do with this tutorial so and so so should i replace this tsec1 one bdm should be replaced with the uh, tsec2 and 1civ was replaced with tsec3 tsec3 5mdh was replaced with tsec4 so tsec4 so in this tutorial they used six template but we will use only four templates um, yes yes we will save it and uh, we should see that they haven't used these names in the rest of the script so we are ready we are good to go we should close it and uh, we see we should close this this is creating distraction um, we should see that if we if it had changed its name yeah 
so we are ready to run the script so script 2 is ready what will I do mod 9.24 script 2 script 2 dot py I'll run it so it's creating so you can see that script 2 dot log has been created as as a result of running script 2 so if you want to see it in command prompt so you can see that script 2 dot log has been created yeah we should go to script 2 uh, dot so script uh, script 2 dot log uh, this is the file we should uh, this is the distance matrix the comparison between different templates and uh, we should go at the end so you can see uh, these three sequences the templates are very similar but we'll go for this because this is has higher resolution and secondly it had good matrix score i showed you above so uh distance matrix score so uh we'll we'll go for this dsec1 we'll opt dsec1 as our uh, good template for modeling uh, our curie protein structure so uh, we'll choose dsec1 for further uh, template selection and the modeling of uh, our curie protein so uh, see they have got similar file in their example so the next step is to align the curie structure with the template that we have selected that is in our case tsec1 so we'll copy this file this uh, uh, python script and paste it here and we'll save it as script 3 dot py in desktop and then we'll copy this so script 3 is being copied uh, what they did is they uh, they chose this uh, this template for aligning with the uh, our, uh, with the curie structure that would serve as a template we have chosen tsec1 so we should rename it as we should rename it where it is tsec1 uh, I should replace it one with the tsec1 so that if, if it has more than one it is present in more than one then it would be replaced and second uh, tvldh should be replaced with qsec curie sequence replace all now yes now what it it will do it will align query sequence with the with the template sequence that we have chosen from aligning the templates we have chosen tsec1 as uh, uh, as the good template for that would serve as a, as a template to model the query sequence so we are all done we will close this file 
and we'll see if it is if the changes have been saved to recheck so we'll what we'll do we'll go to we'll we'll, we'll run the script mod 9.24 script 3 dot py yeah you can see that script 3 dot log has been created and uh, you can see dir option script uh, 3 dot log has been created so this script is also being run successfully so um uh, it has created script three dot log so we can open it and see it is being created it has created some other additional file like uh, this file uh, yeah this is giving the sequence uh, this is showing how it has aligned it has inserted gaps and here it is also uh, giving us the sequence of the template so this file has also been created we shouldn't save it yeah no problem uh, open with the uh, wordpad yeah so this is showing the alignment this is showing the alignment of the query sequence with the template so it has done this step so we'll next video uh, like this this has created the alignment uh, we have seen this file dot pap and here we have opened this file dot pap recently we have opened it yeah so um we'll move uh, to model building in next video thank you for watching one last thing i i i, I should uh, tell you that you should uh, uh, access this playlist i am uploading all the videos in this playlist regarding uh, homology modeling with modeler so you should access this playlist and uh, do the uh, uh, practice the videos as with the tutorial from the beginning and uh, secondly you, you you may subscribe my channel to encourage the effort so that i'll be motivated to upload such videos thank you so much